Victoria is more based, not just, it. when we talked EU, you had all these things with colonization, uh, religion, exploration, empire building. Victoria, when that game starts, the empires are kind of set. The empire building time has passed. It's about grabbing the last pieces of Africa. So Victoria is more about the game, about social political development and also about economics. It's all about industrialization. If you're looking at the time period of Victoria, you have four pillars of things that really appear in that time period. You have the nationalism. It's the era where the national states form, like German and Italy, where people actually understand uh, what a na na nation is about. You have the industrialization. It's where people go from working on, at their local farm to actually moving into cities and being uh, wage slaves in large factories. Um, like paradox, for example. Yeah, we're wage slaves. We have to. Shh. We're not wage slaves, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the coal mine and yeah. dig up some more games. Uh, yeah, what about else? I said I said uh, industrialization and nationalism. Also, it's the political development of uh, ideologies and democratizations. This is the time period with liberalism, where people's individual freedoms are actually defined for the first time. Then you get socialism, which is the responsibility and solidarity with others. Now you get extremistic things like communism and fascism and such things. And finally, it's an era of severe technological improvements. All of these four aspects makes for a really unique gameplay experience.